Animal key. The animal key is used to open the animal door. When a person enters through the door, they transform into an animal of their choosing and can communicate with other animals of the same species. When one returns through the door, it reverses the effect and they return to their human form. In the opening scene of the season, we see Bodie and Kinsey use this key to transform into animals, then back into their human form. The animal key can also transform animals into humans when they enter from the opposite side of the door. Bodie travels back in time and accidentally brought Dodge back to the future, and now she possesses his body, with him being trapped behind the ghost door. He eventually escaped and now possesses the body of a bird. Tyler and Kinsey uses the animal key for Bo to pass through the animal door and return to his human form. Snow Angel Key This key is used to open a portal into the snow globe that has a replica of the key house. Using this key allows you to travel between the snow globe and the actual key house. Nina senses the snow globe special and she was right. Bodhi finds the snow angel key and together they open the snow globe that releases the demons Ada and Dorothy who causes a little chaos. Time shift key. The time shift key allows one to witness past events and travel back in time using the grandfather clock located in the key house as a door. Bodhi locates the key and unknowingly travels back in time and meet Benjamin and Miranda Locke. He and Jamie uses it once again and it took them back in time to when Duncan was a teen. Though they can time travel, the key prevents them from interfering with past events. Bodhi travels back in time to their fight with Dodge back in season 2. He interfered and accidentally brought Dodge back to the future with him. Thanks for the ride. However, this interference did not affect the past, meaning everything happened how they were supposed to. Harlequin Key The key is used to unlock the Harlequin chest that can be used to store anything. When unlocked with the Harlequin key, it reveals hidden things that cannot be seen if opened with an ordinary key. The chest is indestructible and cannot be destroyed. It uses magic to protect itself and can only be destroyed by magic. Bodhi and Kinsey uses it to hide the other keys, seeing it's safer and cannot be destroyed and can also prevent Captain Gideon from getting his hands on all the keys. In the series finale, Nina and Bodhi tries opening the chest and comes to learn it's indestructible and can only be opened by the key or by magic. Creation Key The creation key can bring any drawing to life. You can make anything come to life by drawing a sketch of it. The pin of the key acts as a pencil and the head of the key acts as an eraser and is used to erase whatever was once created. The first time we see this key in action is back in 1995 when Randall uses it to bring a character from one of Shakespeare's novels to life. Tyler and Kenzie also uses the key to draw a door and a motorcycle to escape from being chased by Captain Gideon. Kinsey also uses the key to create a door to access the chest as they are no longer in possession of the other keys. These are all additions to keys found and made in previous seasons. All keys found in series 1 and 2. Were you just flipping off the house? No, I, w I was saying goodbye. It was one more than one meaning to the middle finger. Like aloha? Yeah, yeah, like aloha. Aloha! Anywhere Key, the first key to ever be found by one of the Lock children. This key allows you to travel anywhere you desire using any door you wish. It is undoubtedly one of the most powerful keys. Memory Key This key was created to help kids remember magic and keep their memories of the keys when they get older and become adults. The Head Key this key allows you to travel into your own mind or the mind of others and gains access to their memories and can be used to store items in one's mind. Seeing where Ellie hid the creation key in Gordy's mind. This is most likely the most used key in the series and this season Nina spends more time with it as she relives her past and faces the truth. Echo Key 
This key is used to summon an echo or soul of a dead person through the well house. That echo can be destroyed by re-entering the well house. Hercules Key The Hercules Key is used to access the Hercules Bell that gives superhuman strength to whomever wears it. Small World Key The Small World Key activates a magical replica of the Key House that whatever happens in the Doll House happens in the Key House and shows everything that's happening in real time, but a lot smaller. Mirror Key This key is used to open a portal to the Mirror Dimension or a parallel universe which uses your own fears to torture you. This happened to Nina and to Tyler back in the first season. Demon Key This key has the power to turn humans into demons. After his multiple failed attempts at making his own key, Gabe forces Duncan to forge the Demon Key. Angel Key One of our favourite keys from the series. Similar to the Hercules belt, this key is linked directly to a harness that unlocks a pair of wings as seen back in Season 2, and also seen the season where Dodge, in Bode's body, uses it to defeat the Echoes and uses it to fight Captain Gideon. Matchstick Key This key is used to create fires and can cause anything or anyone to go up in flames. Chain Key it is used to unlock a lock that releases a cascade of chains that's mostly known to trap demons but can also trap humans. Thorn Key This key allows you to control plants, having them grow into vines or flowers and can also be used as weapons. This key also activates a tree that has Duncan's memories of magic stored below ground in Series 1. This season, we see Nina use this key to create a beautiful array of flowers for Duncan's wedding. Mending Key This is used to open the mending cabinet that can restore or repair anything that was once broken or destroyed. Ghost Key Using the ghost door, this key allows you to become a ghost when you pass through it, leaving your physical form behind and entering solely as a spirit. This is how Dodge was able to possess Bode's body in Series 3. This key was also used a lot of times throughout the series. Alpha Key Another one of our favourite keys, which is also the opposite of the Demon Key. It turns demons back into humans by splitting the demon from the human host. Identity Key This key allows you to change your appearance to whichever form you desire. This key was mostly used by Dodge as she transformed into Lucas, Ellie and Gabe for the most part. Magic Box Key This key opens a magical music box that has the power to control anyone but they must be able to hear the music coming from it. Omega Key this serves as the only key that can open the black door, which is the portal to another universe. Shadow Key This key is paired with the crown of shadows. It can conjure shadows that can take many different shapes or forms, but can easily be defeated by light. The final season of Locking Key is now streaming on Netflix. Let us know which of these keys are your favourite down in the comment section below. Absolutely nothing.